Rosa, the paper that you published today mm. is uh, describing variants in the sequence of the human genome that, that affect voice, mm -hmm. various aspects of voice. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how did that study, the study behind it, how did that begin? Mm -hmm. What was the goal mm -hmm. with that study? The goal was to learn something new about the genetics of the human vocal system. And as you know, vocalizations and the voice is incredibly important for humans, but and yet there's so little that we know about the genetics of voice and speech in humans. Yeah, but we, we, we all of us have known, all of us have known a father and son or a mother and mm -hmm. daughter mm -hmm. who have pretty much the same voice. Absolutely. So it has been known for a long time mm -hmm. that there's a very strong genetic component Absolutely. to voice. Yes. To the, to the depth of the voice, to the voice pitch, there's been um, some twin studies showing that. And indeed, you know, we know from our families that there's something genetic to it. But what are the genetic factors involved? What are the genes? What are the uh, biological mechanisms in, involved? That's not entirely clear. We know that hormones influence voice pits, etc. cetera. Uh, but we wanted to uh, also look at uh, vowel acoustics. Those are the uh, signals and vowels that distinguish between like E and E and A. It's not entirely clear that these are uh, have a genetic component, um, although we might think so based on the anatomy that's shaping these sounds. What else except for genetics would affect that? Culture. All right. So the, the component of our environment that we call culture could have an impact on the way in which we articulate. Well, I mean, the sound inventories, what sounds uh, a language has widely varies between languages. Mm -hmm. So number of vowels, number of consonants, what vowels, etc. Some sounds, some languages have click sounds uh, that we in Icelandic do not have, for instance. Uh, of course, we usually think that, you know, this is something that has evolved uh, through, through culture, uh, but we're starting to think, well, maybe there's some some genetic diversity that's fueling some of that linguistic diversity. So the difference between the sounds mm -hmm. in languages could have a reflection in the structure of the vocal system. Absolutely. And we know that, for instance, shape of the shape and size of the oral tract, of the vocal tract, you know, how how your palate, the roofy bone of the mouth, is shaped, all of that influences our speech. And, and so it's not just about voice pitch, it's also about these qualities of the vowels, of the, the consonants, of and, the voice sounds. And, and so you did this study on a large number of Icelanders mm -hmm. who came and gave speech example mm -hmm. at our phenotyping center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what are the principal observations that came out of this? The main observation is that we find uh, the first sequence variant known to be associated with voice pitch, which is basically how deep or high pitched your voice is. So we identify a sequence variant in a gene called ABCC9 that was not known before to have something to do with the voice or speech. Uh, and that's incredibly exciting. Uh, and then we can think about what is it about this gene? What is it doing? Uh, we can then ask another question, what about primates? Are there any differences in the sequence of that gene uh, compared to primates, etc.? And, and one aspect of this that uh, I thought was fascinating is that this variant may affect pulse pressure. Mm -hmm. And pulse pressure is, um, is related to all kinds of cardiovascular mm -hmm. risks. Absolutely. So the possibility you can you uh, one could uh, postulate mm -hmm. that by taking a, a speech example mm -hmm. you could use that to predict future health mm -hmm. of the speaker mm -hmm. absolutely and there's there's some uh truth in that in the sense that we find these very strong correlations uh between voice pitch and uh other traits like pulse pressure 
um, systolic blood pressure, and uh, if, you, if we just or ignore the genetics for a moment, uh, if we don't have any genetic information, there's also correlations with uh, lean muscle mass, BMI, uh, body fat, for instance, but we have to keep in mind that these correlations are relatively weak, although they're very robust. So it's not, voice pitch is not a strong predictor of, say, these health metrics. Uh, but for us as researchers, it's very interesting that these patterns emerge, and they also emerge at the genetic level, because like you say, this genetic variant in APCC9 is also associating with pulse pressure, uh, and uh, air, uh, area of the ascending aorta. Um, so that's, uh, again, implicating the cardiovascular system. So, so, so as I, I mentioned before, we, it has been shown that the pulse pressure correlates with voice pitch. Mm -hmm. e, and uh, one of the questions that comes up is, does, pulse, does uh, voice pitch mm -hmm. in any way reflect personality? Mm -hmm. or psychological traits? Yes and no. So the average of voice pitch, with, you know, when we talk, there are these up and down, and we, you know, it goes up and then we go down in voice pitch. If we take the average, we see no correlations with personality. Um, however, if we look at this variability, how much we're going up and down, take the standard deviation, then that is uh, correlated with personality and most, uh, most notably openness, uh, openness to ex experience. Um, and we, we're not entirely sure what's going on there, but we have to keep in mind that in this task, people were reading. So it could be that more verbal ability is, is kind of making your reading more natural and, and having more um, up and downs, if you will. Uh, and that could explain the correlation with openness because we know verbal ability is correlated with openness. So, so you're talking about openness, which is the personality trait that correlates with curiosity and creativity. Yes, absolutely. So, so the voice is not just a form. It's not just a, the frame mm -hmm. around the content that you're speaking. Mm -hmm. It has a character mm -hmm. in and of itself. Yes that reflects very, very complex mm -hmm. aspects of mm -hmm. who you are. Absolutely. So this is still another step towards finding mm -hmm. the sequence of our variants and the sequence of ACGs and Ts in our genome that are responsible for the diversity mm -hmm. in human nature in general. Mm -hmm.